Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DVR. Today I have a special for you. Look at this here. This is the Letho. It's a device that you uh, put on your hand and it can um, be used as a controller. So you can point to things, you can um, switch around things, you can move around things, you can resize things and it also it has also haptical feedback this is really interesting and you can use your smartphone with augmented reality apps to place objects and manipulate objects how that works i will show you in this video you can find everything about VR and AR on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgirls VR, Oppermann Events, Peter Wasmer, Andy De Felser, VR Ambassador, Virtual Escape and Adams Group. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay guys, so welcome uh, to the presentation of this device. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is download the Diorama app um, and then perhaps it says that the firmware must be um, must be yeah actual uh, or must be newer than this one. And then you have to download the Companion app. This is another app that you can update uh, the firmware of this device. So what you're gonna do is uh, update the firmware, then connect it to the Diorama app. Unfortunately, this app is only available on iOS devices for now. But you have to notice that's only the demo app that I will show you. The device is for developing. So this is, um, you get an SDK and then you will develop your own apps with, with this device and that's pretty cool. So this is a controller. So I will show you what this can do. So here we go. The first thing is uh, normally um, there is a calibration that you will place the lethal on a flat surface and then it will, will uh, calibrate for 15 seconds and then it says it's fine. And when you first start the app, um, sorry, uh, then you have to calibrate it. That means hold the phone uh, in front of you and then click the you see that here, click the device and the screen and then it will be uh, awesome here. So now you see when I move my hands here, you, you see the, um, the pointer yeah, and it moves really cool. And now if you want to place something, just twist your hand to the right side like this and then you will see the options menu. And it has haptical feedback, that means when I move around here, uh, you will feel that and if you want to place a prop here go just here to the menu and then tap the button and here we'll see the menus uh, what you want gonna place so for example if you want to place this thing here hold it with uh, the thumb and then pull it out of the menu and here we are if you want to place it more forwards you go down with the thumb if you want to place it more backwards then go here and then let it go and then here here you go yeah, it, it flows in my room and if you want to manipulate that um, just click it here with your thumb and then you can oh I'm sorry that it's inside my wall you can size it down and size it up let's do it a little bit smaller and then you can also, sorry for the tracking, uh, the, 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 the room here is not perfect for showing that, but the other room is too small, I'm sorry for that. Um, so place it here and you can also change the color to red or to blue, whatever. Now you see it's blue here. And you can also clone it or you can animate that. Yeah? And that means hold it and draw it wherever you want here. Whoa. and then let it go and you will see that it will flow the way that you point it to. I'm sorry that it's inside my wall, <laughs> but uh, yeah, look at this Then stop it by tapping and then you can also delete it here. So here you have the other menus like tools or options. Go to tools and you can place some balloons here. Balloons, balloons. Oh yeah, here. Look at this. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. Calibrate. I'm really sorry that this uh, room is not good for for uh, showing that, but I don't have another now. Um, scenes, props, and options. 
Here you can reset RR, you can use reset sound or use sound and go to the options menu in the app. You see that here, tutorials, hints, devices, hand, you can change to, to a left hand as well. And it, it feels really good. You, you also feel the, um, the haptic of the uh, device and that's, that's really cool, yeah. So this is the menu that you will use uh, in your own app. Of course, it will not look like this because normally the tracking is better. Here, here you see that a little bit better. It re works really, really good. Props, this one, pull it here, re replace it here. It works great. It works really great. Didn't expect that. If you want to delete it, delete it, point it and then click on delete here. That's nice. Okay, guys, so this is what you're gonna do. So how does that work? You uh, will just um, download the service development kit from the company and then create your own apps and use the, this as your controller. So now the, the question is what um, use cases do you do you expect for that? What do you think? What apps can we write uh, with this device? It's very interesting. So if you want to buy it, check the link in the description below. It's 100 bucks the device and you get lifetime support uh, with firmware and updates. And that's crazy. Um, it works really good. So I didn't expect that. Uh, nice haptics, nice controls and yeah. So guys, <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want to subscribe to my channel, would be awesome. Give me a thumbs up and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Wurde die Ehe.